Now that you guys finished up learning about derivatives, the next common topic covered in calculus is integrals. In this video, I'm going to explain what integrals are and why we need them. Alright, let's dive right in. In order to understand integrals, let's first return to derivatives. At this point, you know how to take the derivative of a function like this, x cubed. Using the power rule, you find that the derivative is 3x squared. Now for finding integrals, or antiderivatives as they are often referred to, instead of working forwards to take the derivative, you are working backwards to find the function that you are taking the derivative of. Just like addition and subtraction, or multiplication and division, are opposite operations of each other, derivatives and integrals are also opposites of each other. And just like we write d over dx to represent a derivative, integrals or antiderivatives also have special notation. To represent an integral, we write this curly elongated s-like symbol with a dx at the end. Then in the middle, we can put whatever function we are finding the antiderivative of. So if we want to work backwards and find the integral of our derivative up top, we can write it like this which is read as the integral of 3x squared dx. Now from what I said about integrals being the opposite of derivatives, you might write that the antiderivative must be x cubed, because that's what we took the derivative of. This is 99% right, except for one small caveat. When we took the derivative of x cubed, we were absolutely correct in saying that the answer was 3x squared. However, what if we wanted to find the derivative of this function, x cubed plus 2? The answer would still be 3x squared, right? Because the derivative of the 2 would just be 0. And if we wanted to take the derivative of x cubed plus 100, we'd find the same exact thing. In fact, if we take the derivative of x cubed plus or minus any constant, we would find the answer is always 3x squared. To account for this possibility of the original function having an additional constant, when we take the integral of something, we need to add in that potential constant by tacking on plus some arbitrary c value. This value could end up being zero, but we just don't know without any additional information. So we just leave it as an unknown c. So this is our final answer. The integral, or antiderivative, of 3x squared is x cubed plus c. And the beauty of learning derivatives first is that you can always verify that your answer is correct. Since integrals and derivatives are opposites, you can always take the derivative of your answer to see if you get the original function you started with. Since the derivative of x cubed plus a constant gives us back 3x squared, we know we are right. Finally, this integral is known as an indefinite integral, and I will cover a different type called definite integrals, as well as techniques for solving both of these in a future video. If you found this video helpful, please take a second to tap that little thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more helpful content. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.